when Paul was talking at this point, was talking about Romans, and, and if you know Romans 13, um, if you go and actually read it, it's talking about church authority, not manly authority. That's right. It's yeah. very, very improperly taught. Gates gets it absolutely wrong. There, absolutely yeah, wrong. there is, well, I think 99.9% .9 of um, denominations and churches out there get it completely wrong. But, and I'm going by what you said, Paul, I'm taking your word for it. If you said at the bottom, the whole law is wrapped up in love. Yep. Right. If you go to Luke and you see the end of that story of the Good Samaritan, and you go to the end, he tells the Pharisee or the likewise. scribe or the lawyer, he says, go and do likewise. You go be a neighbor, which is what? Love. The idea that Christianity is wrapped up in one thing, it's love. Yep. I had a guy come to my front porch, and... Um, as they, they, they commonly do, and, and maybe one day they'll stop. I don't know, but they come to my porch, and he hands me the, the Watchtower magazine, okay? And on it, there's this guy, and he's got a question, and it's interesting the way they phrase it, especially in this area, but there's a, there's a black guy on the cover, and there's a bunch of white preachers around trying to draw him a Washington that says, how to find or how to pick a good religion. And he said, do you know how to pick a good religion? I said, sir, again, asking the wrong question. I said, your question is flawed. There are none. <laughs> there are no good religions. And you could see that he wasn't used to getting that sort of response. That was outside of the box of his normal thinking, which really kind of flustered the guy. He didn't know really how to react to that. Well, all in all, I mean, the end of the conversation is he walked away. And, you know, I mean, the idea that Christianity has been boxed into this thing called religion is a shame. I look and I see the work that the enemy has done to destroy lives before they even start. And religion and Christianity being connected is another one of those things. Because yeah. Christianity, true Christianity, is not religion. Religion is man's way of gaining righteousness. Christianity is a relationship with a person named Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They are very, very different. Absolutely. If I want to get to know Brad, what do I do? I spend time with him. <clears throat> now I can read books about Brad if there were any. Maybe I could Google it. It's a real short book. Short book. I, I mean, there, there, there are, there are probably public tragic. records there about Brad. <laughs> there are probably pu public records and references about Brad. And I was in a movie. Yes, you were. We can go see your, your the nub, book. the nub and the That's notebook. Right. It's a tragedy. That was a really cool movie. $4,000 easy. <laughs> but you know... If I actually want to get to know the person who Brad really is, we have to do this, spend time with him. That's right. I've been talking to Paul. If he wants people to know him, he's got to spend time with people. You know, he can't just Amen. show up once a week and expect people to have a relationship with him. It's not going to work. And it's the same thing with Christ. If you want to actually get to know Christ, you've got to spend time with him. And it's not a Wednesday and a Sunday. And it's not maybe a little thing here and a little thing over there. No, you don't understand. Make that relationship with Christ, it's a 24-7, 365 thing. It's an all the time, every time, every day thing. Religion is about you feeling good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's a satisfaction to the flesh. That's why these, ch I mean, churches are full of religious people that are simply satisfying their flesh. It's no different than a druggie doing drugs, or an alcoholic having beer, or getting wasted. <laughs> There's no difference. It's all satisfaction of the flesh, right? And religion makes you feel good, makes you feel worth something. Christianity is a recognition that you aren't worth anything. But he loved you anyway. That's Christianity. These guys will build you up and make you feel important and special and elevate your existence. And they forget to elevate the one who created you. His name is Jesus. That church or that denomination did not die on the cross for you. Jesus did. I look at so many things that the enemy has done, and I was kidding around earlier about the folks that we have that come to services, and look, Jesus told, he told this parable about the guy who had a feast or a marriage, and 
The people he invited didn't show up, and then he sent his servant out. And by the time he was done, he went to the highways and the byways. Bring anybody in you can find. Bring anybody in. And we see what hap what's happening today is those people that organized religion doesn't want, we see those people finding Jesus. Praise God. Because he died for them just like he died for me. Right? right. He loved them just like he loved me. And everybody needs Jesus. When I look around and see what the enemy has done, I look at lives and I see people today that are following in the same footsteps as their parents. Which, and grandparents. And you have, you just have dysfunction at way over here and it's just being carried down and down and down and down. By the time you have people growing up here, their lives in such shambles. They've got so much baggage on them. They have so many cares and worries, and they have all this generational nonsense that has been put on them from society and their parents and their grandparents. And then you have somebody come up and say, how do you pick a good religion? And there's just another thing that they pile it on. And what I want, I want people to realize is that Christianity, walking with Christ, accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, is not religion. This fellowship does not exist to be another religion. This fellowship exists to help introduce you to the Almighty God. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the guy that removes the baggage, that takes off the restrictions, that takes away the bondage. He does not put more bondage on you. Amen. Okay, the Jesus I serve is not the guy that says, come down just as you are, and the minute you get here, let me give you this laundry list of things you now have to do. That's not Jesus. That's religion. Okay, if I were to go briefly to Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9, it says this, For by grace are ye saved. Through what? Faith. Faith, and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Every religion goes directly against this verse. They may say that you have grace for what you've already done and you come to Jesus and it takes care of that, but everything from this point on, you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for it. That's not grace. That's the law. That's works. Here it says very clearly, for by grace are ye saved through what? Through faith. faith in Christ Jesus. We can't see how it's gonna be done. Anybody have something in their life that they can't see a solution to? Yes. You know, when you put that in the Lord's hands, you know what you Waking call up that? in the morning. Hey, faith. Sorry. When you have that thing that there is in your own mind, in your own intellect, in your own understanding, there is no fix, no resolution, no solution to it, and you hand that to Jesus and say, I don't know how, but I know you are able, that's faith. As long as we hold on to it and try and work it out, that's works. Our very salvation is faith, not works. Religion is about works and not faith. Religion will tell you you can't drink, you can't smoke, ladies, you can't wear pants, and my gosh, don't ever cut your hair. I went to a Southern Baptist high school, and if you dance, you're going to hell. If ladies wear pants, you're going to hell. What kind of nonsense is that? That's religion. That's the law. Maybe they saw how you dance. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> no, don't do it. I'll, I'll turn the camera, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember the beaver on <laughs> And you're saved through faith. And that's not yours. Right. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. And that not of yourselves. Expressly, our salvation is not of us. See, the core, the core fault in religion is they tell you you can do it. Well, here's the little thing. If you could do it, then Jesus would not have had.